match day two sees Al Ain of the United Arab Emirates versus Ahal FC of Turkmenistan. Team news for Al Ain: Kojo Laba starts up front with Sofiani Rahimi, and in goal is Khalid Aysa. Captain Banda Al Ababi starts on the right. For Ahal, number 10, Captain Tagayev will look to link up with number 9, striker Gerben Aniev. There's a change in goal as Rustem Al Haliev comes in for Rakhat Zaporov. Things are set and we are underway here in the Hazar bin Zayed Stadium. Al Ain send the ball forward to Kojo Laba and he flicks it on and immediately there's a chance and a turn and a shot. Banda Al Ababi almost with the immediate impact. Laba did well to get his head to it. And the goalie, Ahaliev, forced into a save in the early action. Minutes later, Ababi sends the ball in and it's spilled by the keeper. And Eric is there to curl it into the top left-hand corner. The captain sent in a good cross. The goalkeeper fails to hold on to it. And Eric Jorgens with a magnificent strike to put Alain 1-0 up. And just minutes later, there's another chance. This time, Rahimi... He sees his dink land onto the roof of the net, but it's been a blistering start from Alain. Chances already stacking up for the home team. Pressure on the ball, and that's well intercepted by Coadio. He'll try his luck from distance. It's beaten away, but he'll have a second chance. His shot narrowly past the post. Real pressure at the beginning of the game. Ahal are really struggling to retain possession, and the chances are stacking up for Alain. Here's Rahimi, he's bursting away from the defender into the box. His shot is blocked with the ricochet is then. He nods it into the empty goal. 2-0 for Alain. Nahal really blown away from this explosive start. But Alain haven't stopped. It's Rahimi again, squares it to Laba. He taps it home to make it three before the first half is even complete. It's really been one-way traffic ever since kickoff. Some ferocious attacking football from Alain. Ahal will have to do better in the second half if they're to steady the ship. It's been a slow start to the second half, but there's a mistake there, and it's Tagayev. And he brings one back for Ahal, really out of nothing. He and Nadir letting the ball get away from him, and it's punished. Normal business resumes as it's a corner for Al Ain, sent to the near post, flicked on. This will fall to Coadio. Hooks it in to restore the three goal cushion. Labia got a slightest of glancing headers on it. And the defender makes it 4-1 to Alain. And the next chance falls to Kalfan. And the follow-up is cleared off the line. The substitutes combining and almost extending the lead. And now it's Ahal with a rare bit of possession in the other half. And this is Umanov. He tries his shot from distance and it's spilled and it's put into the back of the net by Meridov to make it 4-2. It's a couple of errors have allowed Ahal back into this game. But the final chances are still falling Alain's way. Kalfan unlucky to get his name on the score sheet. Really great stop from the keeper. And with the game running out of time, a chip almost catches Khalid Aysa off his line, but he pushes it away to safety. It's been a powerful display from start to finish from Alain, who have the maximum points from the first two games, and they'll take some catching on the back of this entertaining display. Ahal can take pride in the fact that they kept going and are still in contention in the group. Final score, Alain 4, Ahal 2.